they were up to Redman TV look go out of the Europa League to win a 1-0 on the night and yeah listen if you want to learn some basics of football don't lose the home leg of a European tie by three goals to nil if you want to progress to the next round it's as simple as that because you know listen winning 1-0 away from home that is a that was an absolutely perfectly acceptable away result in a European two-legged tie except we catastrophically and totally and utterly cocked up the first leg and left us in a position where we were chasing goals away from home against a team that didn't need to come out they didn't need to be expansive they didn't need to get caught with the pants down against us they just needed to defend and, and dig deep and it felt at times that they had more men on the pitch than us and look we, we came with the game plan the first half game plan was okay the fluidity um of the attack in the midfield made us dangerous it made us hard to predict and it kind of off- offset their man marking and it meant we had some good opportunities we were miles the better team in the first half and then second half nothing second half we completely ran out of ideas we had nothing left I, and you know we had substitutes there and it's just that thing where we're falling between two stools where there's a bunch of lads who've been overplayed and a bunch of lads who need to be played back into form. Curtis Jones had a bad game today because he had a really bad game. But he, hopefully keeping him on means that he'll be more ready for the for what's left because we need to put a team together that can go out and beat Fulham now. And it's got to, we've got to go win every league game remaining just to make sure that we've even got a sniff for chance. I just want us to be in contention for that title on the last game of the season. That's all we're playing for now. League Cup in the bag. Big year can fare well. Um, but yeah, that weight of expectation weighs heavy. You know, everyone was hoping it was going to be this like historic farewell, and it still can be. Um, but the lads who've come back from injury need to find form quick, and we need to ask the lads who've gone time and time again this season, who look knackered, to find some way of just digging a little bit deeper and hurting a little bit more for this team. Because uh, the worst thing that could happen is if this season just peters out look we'll go and we'll, we'll celebrate Jürgen we'll give him the send off with his ears because he's been one of the greatest Liverpool managers of all time um, but we want to give him that send off with another piece of silverware and we're not going to do it playing like this um, there's a real danger here that Liverpool have just run out of steam just those injuries playing for so long without the death has just left us with not enough left in the tank now I don't truly believe that because we've got the players now we can rotate we can change games again from the bench we can have a go but they're going to need to go out and prove it at the weekend big time this was a disappointment tonight a real disappointment um, but that's what happens with the Europa League when you don't take it seriously and you, you get caught with your pants down there was no stakes throughout this whole tournament it was a, it was a jollies and I've enjoyed it I had a, I've had a great time at the Europa League but it never felt like there was any stakes it never felt like we were truly like I don't know like we really gave our A game in this competition and um, throughout the entire Europa League run we felt like a Champions League team a team that was capable of winning the European Cup that was accidentally in the Europa League we felt like a Europa League quality team in this tie against Atalanta and that's credit to Atalanta and how they played but it's also discredit to to Liverpool because they just couldn't find the depth and that second half yeah nothing we had nothing we were just aimlessly lumping the ball. It was played at a snail's pace. Man, that's Alisson just had 30 seconds, 40 seconds, a minute on the ball. It felt like with nowhere to go, no plan, no game plan. We we sacrificed. We we put versatility in to try and undo them, but we lost the try and tested. Um, yeah, Jota and Nunes had no impact whatsoever. Harvey Elliott had no impact, and that never happens. We're normally good in the second half of games. Um, yeah, let's hope they can dig deep. What did you think? Who was the man of the match? It's a struggle, isn't it? Um, Diaz had a good first half. McAllister just kept going to the well for us. You know, after times he won possession back, maybe it, maybe I'll just give it to McAllister for the effort for the whole for the whole game and for the whole season. Anyway, let's drop a like and we'll go again this weekend, yeah?